Good evening, y'all. Y'all already know who it is. Target individual CJBK. So, um, just wanted to check in with everyone. Yeah, let everyone know I'm still here. Still doing research. Still living my life the best that I can. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if I told everyone that I'm moving from my apartment. A.K.A. the, uh, the uh, gang stalking origins of Chris James, basically. I don't know. Maybe maybe I could have been, you know, um, you know, been monitored before I moved here. But I've never had anything weird like this happen in my life until I moved into this this building. So September thirtieth, I'll be out of here. Um, and uh you know in the meantime i'm gonna go and um stay close to mom and until i find uh another uh, apartment or a room or something um but uh yeah so what i what this video is mostly going to be about is the um basically it's still in theory because there's no exact way to prove it. All I can do is just give, um, based on my experience, um, the agenda, the agenda, right? Um, now remember, this is all just theory, and I don't even really think it's like a, a crackpot theory or anything too out of the out of the um the i guess i could say the spectrum of what can actually be seen be uh be real right so okay one thing i want all gang stalkers i mean i want all uh you know targeted individuals empowered individuals to know is that there is no real um, racial bias in this, unless the individual um, gang stalker themselves have a racial bias. Um, there is no one particular federal or um, law enforcement involved. There's no one in particular. Um, well, because there's this multiple, there's multiple parties involved. Um, there's no particular, um, workforce involved because there's uh, a number of different, um, um, industry people involved in this. Um, doesn't matter if you're, <laughs> doesn't matter if you're a chef, it doesn't matter if you're the guy that sweeps the streets doesn't matter if you're the train conductor doesn't matter if you know if you're the doctor doesn't matter if you're a cop doesn't matter if you're a teacher doesn't matter who you are doesn't even matter if you're if you're the local you know homeless person or, or drug addict you know it doesn't matter um the, this thing has ties into it that um that goes deep into the very fabric of our, um, I don't even want to call it our society, but of, you know, um, humanity, basically. Um, when I tell you that this is literally a crime against humanity, I am so serious. Like, like I'm serious beyond words because it's like, this is on the cusp of where you start, where I started to realize, um, you know, it makes, it makes no sense how evil the world truly is and how capable, um, people are of doing things just to, um, gain an advantage over the world or to gain power over people or to, or to basically, um, to basically see if they can control other people. Um, radio frequencies, well, whether it's radio frequencies, light frequencies, or energy frequencies, um, anything, um, 
anything that has a frequency um, can be manipulated if you have the right device or tools, right? And um, a lot of people don't, a lot of people still don't realize this, but every single disease, virus, ailment of the body, um, um, every cell in the body, every little, um, every microorganism, nanoparticle, everything has a frequency. Now, when I tell you everything has a frequency, everything has a frequency. Just like how a specific frequency tone could be played that'll shatter glass, everything has a frequency. All you have to do is find it. Now, um, with these perps, or at least I, I, I mean, it, for the majority of people who are probably being um, electronic harassed and um, biohacked and things of that sort, um, hopefully they've come to the uh, understanding and conclusion that um, how it's happening is basically through um, the manipulation of your own biofrequencies. Um, I haven't really narrowed it down a hundred percent yet on how they basically um, how they do it, but um, I'm about like eighty percent sure that because of the um uh, if you've been noticing my previous videos because of the numerous um you know cell towers and satellites and um the electrical um currents flowing all throughout whatever you know neighborhood city county wherever you are that's creating a um that's creating a, a pulse right it's creating like an electromagnetic field pulse and that pulse is is pushed out and um whether people realize or not it's also like uh it, it can become ionized creating a positive charge um and then once it reaches the body it it basically kind of like you know Let's say, uh, let's just say it lights it up, right? And then it basically makes it easier that if someone were using like a, um, um, let's just say a near infrared laser that can do what is called up conversion, um, or, um, something that can sense the, um, the tones of a specific, um, sound frequencies because remember every cell in the body has a, a frequency sound they can basically um upload that frequency up to a computer which will have a, a, a algorithm that will decode that frequency and then if they want to change that frequency to something that can actually reverse whatever um ill-fated um you know things that's going on with that cell or they can um basically push it um to a higher frequency or something that may cause it to destroy itself and then they can transmit that right back into you so i mean you know as those post um frequencies from the, from the cell towers and everything is going out. Think about it like this. Everywhere we're walking, right? It's like walking through smoke that you can't see or smell, but it's all digital. It's all, that's what, that's what like these inorganic electromagnetic fields is like. It's like walking through smog that you can't actually see. You know, and when we're walking through this smog, this electromagnetic smog, it basically like highlights our um, bio frequencies. It highlights it. So wherever there are, um, I 
I believe is satellites. And um, I will, yeah, I believe that they're using satellites because it's already known that satellites can, satellites are now equipped and, and so technologically advanced that they can actually um, basically um, send lasers that can literally go as deep and penetrable as through concrete and down into um, damn near it could locate bunkers. So when you think about how powerful a satellite can be, a sat there's satellites now that can actually look through your look through walls and everything, and see every moving piece that's going around out there. And um, another thing that makes me that reminds me of why this is capable is um, over what was it uh, like Labor Day weekend, and then uh, I think it was uh, what was it Sunday. Sunday, I um was over at a um at a beach, kind of like a beach. Um, if you know Brooklyn, then Canarsie Pier. I was over at Canarsie Pier, and as I'm sitting out there, um, on the water, well, by the water, um, just in you know, just trying to find some peace and serenity, even through all this, you know, that's going on, um. I'm sitting up there and I feel the heat of this, uh, of like, well, cause remember you can't necessarily see lasers. You can't see it, but if it's a thermal energy, you can feel the presence of a thermal energy. And um, I've been practicing um, protective Wei Chi or understanding uh, Qigong, um, for at least about maybe two, two months, three months now, just trying to um, get a better understanding of it. And I've come to understand that I know how to um, ground myself and also how to determine the difference between my natural organic um, electromagnetic field compared to um, an inorganic electromagnetic um, energy that's trying to push itself upon mine. So when I'm sitting out there at the beach and everything, um, I can feel the heat. It's like a, it's like a, a, a it's like a, it's almost like a beam. <laughs> it's a thermal energy that's like basically coming from a direction. And it's not like multi-directional. It's like literally coming from a direction. And then the strange thing about it is when you start to learn more about Wei Qi and, and how to actually um, push out your uh, electromagnetic field even more, you can actually use your hand and like parts of your arms and everything. And you can sense, you can sense that thermal energy beam and you can nearly, nearly pinpoint in the exact direction that it's coming from. And then that's when, um, you know, I started um, really using my my two apps. The one is called the Satellite Pointer. Um, and then the other is called the Architecture of Radio. Um, satellite Pointer is free. Architecture of radio um, is like two ninety nine, but I was like, hell, with everything I'm going through, it's worth the investment, right? So, um, right. Um, yeah, so I could actually sense that heat, that thermal energy. And I remember looking up at this, at the particular direction of where I felt the energy was coming from. And then, uh, crazy enough, I because remember I'm sitting out, I'm sitting out at the at the uh, at the pier, you know, or on the beach. So there's no one else around, not for at least like almost like a quarter mile or something like that. Um, and then I hear them through uh, the V2K transmissions, um, uh, or what, it, what do you want to call it? Acoustic subliminal messaging. Um, that they're like, don't look up at us. 
And I'm just like, hmm. So, because the more and more things that are starting to confirm themselves, and hell, most of the time, I don't even have to, I don't even have to wait too long to be confirmed because the perps, you know, they're basically giving me all the information that I need to know. They're, they're literally telling me all these things. Um, even though they claim they're trying to, they're trying to be secretive and stuff, but I always say, God will, and Lord, keep feeding me because God is going to keep feeding me and feeding me until he's ready for me to go. And I'm going to be able to keep, you know, letting other people know about, you know, what's happening because people need to know about what's happening. People need to know about all these different hidden agendas, you know, and, um, but to go back, to go back again, um, the agenda. Imagine where now, we're now living in a world where um, people are given tools to control other people and then deem whether they are fit to live or not like just just think about it just think about it we all used to worry about oh if it was if it was just if it was the government that would do this to us or, or oh whether you know um whether it would be like some type of dictator or tyrant like king jong-un or all this type of stuff but just imagine Almost anybody who basically rise up, rises up in the rankings of this, I'm going to call it a secret society, because that's basically what it is. Because, I mean, we, we call it gang stalking, but then um, as my, well, as my perps tell me more information, and then as I basically continue my research, learning more about you know, these different technologies and and some of the possible intentions behind um, why they create the technology. And then, because uh, remember, a lot of this technology being used against us is basically used to heal people, but it's never really discussed much on how that same technology can be used or um, to cause harm or basically weaponize. Um, so yeah, imagine we live in a world where there are actually segments or not segments, but, um, people within like groups within society, groups within humanity, let's just say, we're not just talking about Illuminati. No more. We're not just talking about bones and skulls we're talking like almost all of them like there's various secret societies that basically um are trying to deem who should live and who should die can you be controlled will you be a conformist and if you don't and if you won't then you are basically deemed as someone who does not deserve to live on earth or live within our society. Now, and then the crazy thing is, they're also trying to, um, you know, they're trying to basically throw people in jail who's never committed serious crimes before. They're trying to set people, they're trying to set me up. Um, like I told you, you know, they have the ability to um, basically transmit any type of uh, illness or disease or virus into you, whether they can break into your home and you know contaminate something of yours, or they can you, or they can just basically find the actual vibrational frequency of a particular disease or virus uh, or ailment, and then just you know transmit that frequency directly into you because they have your um your bio frequency um synchronized to their to their computer or whatever device they're using 
and they can just basically induce these things into you let alone they can induce stress into you to um to basically make you your immune system even more compromised so that you're you know you're more susceptible to um what you know what can happen you know or you you're more susceptible to actually um falling seriously ill and dying which is kind of one of the things I, I i try not to get into the whole covid thing but um it you know a lot of this this research i've been doing i've been coming i've been finding myself coming across you know things mentioning about the the mrna um the um the way uh what is it um this what is it uh liquid no lipid liquid no lipid protein spikes and how they actually um have some um there is something something to do with electromagnetic fields i'm trying to remember exactly what it was i found this study that showed something about how lipid proteins have um have either an adverse it's either a positive or a negative reaction to uh, electromagnetic fields, but also if it's ionized, anything that's ionized can actually um, cause harm to a cell. So when you think about, I'm I'm just like you know going over different things in my head, but um, yeah, back to my original thought. I keep jumping around, but um, yeah. So I want everyone to realize that um there's no one particular group there's no one particular set of people it's literally a cluster of several different secret societies honestly because i mean we, we everyone knows about the big ones but how many of us actually know about the you know the others that's not so well known you know, um, cause, well, to be honest, I don't, I don't think my perps are a part of the Illuminati. I don't think they're part of skulls and bones. I don't believe they're, um, they could be Mason. I don't know. But, um, yeah, there's, there's a number of different, um, secret societies out there. And, um, but it still just dawns on me, like, how dare people actually wake up one morning and say, you know what, I don't believe certain people should be alive. But yet at the same time, when you think about people who are targeted individuals, a lot of times when you get to know them and you meet them, they are usually very highly intelligent, empathic, um, very morally sound individuals, um, you know, usually very loving people who don't, people don't who actually do anything wrong, at least not intentionally to anyone. These are the people that they're actually going after. These are the people that they're targeting, you know, and I'm like, it really doesn't make any sense to me because I'm like, why would you go after the people who's actually making life better for others when there's so many other people out in this world who's basically destroying many, many lives of other people? You know, and it's like, and it's like, you know, my perps, right? They keep telling me, oh, they were trying to offer me an opportunity all I had to do is become a police officer. But I said, no, I don't want to become a police officer. And they're like, well, you snitching on everybody then. You're going to be a snitch for the rest of your life because you don't want to become a police officer. And they're like, they're calling me a snitch because they were using V2K on me, talking about, oh, they were going to um, shoot me in my sleep. And then on top of that, you know, they're using all kinds of like radiation and um, you know, frequency attacks and direct energy, all kinds of stuff to basically destroy my body. Like right now I'm listening to healing frequencies because they're basically destroying 
um, my central nervous system and um, the uh, the nerve that basically um, um, correlates with uh, my legs. So I feel like a lot of pain in my lower back on the left side of my back. And every time I try to lift my left leg, I feel pain in my back. So they're basically pinpointing on a, on a specific, you know, spot in my back so they can, I guess, you know, deter me from working so that they can, you know, I guess slow kill me or, or try to see if they can kill my joy or something like that. But God willing, you know, but um, yeah, uh, just want to let everybody know that they, this is a secret society. It is a secret society. Um, they're plotting on me with everything that they got. They're plotting on me with everything that they got. And, um, like I said, you know, well, God always tells us, you know, no man or woman knows when their time will come. No, you know, death comes for everyone. So I don't know how long I have, but I just say, you know what? Um, I want to make sure I get this out there. At least somebody hears it, you know? Um, because even if something happens to me, whether they find some way to lie and get me put in prison or whether they find some way to, you know, kill me using their technology or whatever, you know, I know there's got to be some people with, you know, ethical and moral conscience, conscience or with an ethical and moral conscience um, that's going to watch or listen to these and, and they may have some ties to some, you know, some people that can stop all this. You know, we need anyone who understands spectrum analysis, anyone who understands um, biofrequencies, anyone who understands, um, you know, radiation, anyone who understands electromagnetic fields, anyone who understands, um, hell, even uh, Qigong, uh, anyone who understands um, herbal medicines, like all of you are going to need to, you know, step up at some point in history because uh, when technology finally either destroys humanity <laughs> or, um, you know, when enough people finish destroying each other with technology, uh, we're going to need to go back to the old school. We're going to have to go back and revert back to some very old, you know, traditional ways of healing and recovery. And um, for the most part, I just need everyone to remember that, um, you know, God is very much real. God is very much real. And everything that we're going through right now is nothing new under this sun. It's nothing new under this sun. Everything that we have been going through has happened in the past before. It's just a different generation, different technology, same mentality, same agenda. And there's always somebody or some group of people in this world that feel like they're at a disadvantage if they had to share with other people it's so always some people in this world that always feel like they got to try to control others because, hell, maybe they never had control of their own lives growing up. So they feel like they want to, you know, have some type of like major clap back by, you know, controlling other people. You know, um, you know, and um, just just putting it out there. Um, stay diligent in your research because trust and believe the more you stay diligent in your research and don't forget about God. Keep God first. Keep God first. And um, whether you a follower of Jesus, Abraham, Muhammad, you know, um, Buddha, um, who, whoever whoever the messenger is, whoever the messenger is, you know, I believe, I believe God created several messengers, 
you know, in the world. I, I believe God created several messengers. And, but the one thing is, if that messenger is not preaching pure, um, clean, um, what's the words I'm looking for? Um, just, just untempered love. If, if love is not one of the main dynamic messages of, you know, that messenger, then, I mean, I don't know, you know, whatever the case, but yeah, um, just keep love in your mind and remember, do not let fear live in your heart. Fear cannot reside in you because if you allow fear to reside in you, then you will limit yourself. You will limit yourself. And then next thing you know, you will allow stress to take a hold of your life. And then once you allow stress to take a hold of your life, then you basically are killing yourself on top of what the gang stalkers are already doing. So you always remember good vibes, good vibes. Whenever people say good vibes, that means you know, maintain high vibrational frequencies, you know, maintain high vibrational frequencies. Anything above, I believe, 600 is, is you know, um, you know, all great frequencies, everything from pride, joy, enlightenment, happy, and stuff like that, you know. But, um, yeah, um, I'll end it there. Uh, what you call it? I hear my, I hear my perps. They trying to, they trying to tune their, uh, their V two K transmissions up a little louder. So, um, yeah, I put on my earplugs that way I could hear them better. That's how. That's the funny thing. That was something else I mentioned in my earlier videos. I use earplugs, um, to block out the external noise of like you know the the horn honkers that's outside, cause there don't be nobody outside. There don't be. It don't be no, no traffic. It ain't even a group of people standing outside. It's just literally like one or two cars that just park right outside my window and they honk in like some type of like, you know, coded messaging or something. So, um, but yeah, so like I said, you know, my perps warned me, you know, secret society don't want you. And I'm just like, look, God willing. I've already accepted that death is a part of life. And I mean, they going to do what they do. I'm standing by my innocence. God already knows I'm doing everything that I can to just be a genuine loving person on this earth, even regard, regardless of what, you know, Lucifer got going on out here. But um, yeah, let these Luciferians do what they do. And, you know, when God finally calls me, that's when I just go. So, all right, yeah, I'm going to sleep. I got to be up in two, probably like three hours, three and a half hours. Or so, uh, right, you know, let's see, 11, 12, 12, 12, yeah, three and a half hours. So, <clears throat> as always, remember to take life one breath, one step, one thought, one day at a time. And then always remember, you have one mind, one body, one spirit, one God. Peace.